Thanks everyone for joining us today. Uh, my name is Joshua Musto. I'm with the sales team here at Discourse. And today I wanna take you through how to set up a new Discourse community, as well as some of the Discourse 3.0 features. If you wanted to start a new community, just go to our pricing page, discourse.org slash pricing. You'll see several options to choose from. So feel free to choose the one that you think is the most appropriate for your particular community. Uh, if you need any help, feel free to contact us as well, and then we can give you some guidance there. For now, I'll go ahead and sign up for a 14-day trial with the business plan. If you all stick around until the end of the presentation, we will include a promo code for the standard and business plans so that you can save a little bit off that monthly rate for a limited time. Right over here, I'll go ahead and enter in an email address, a domain that I wanna use for my site. I could also use a custom domain, so that could be something like community.example.com. I'll give the community a name, choose the location I want it to be hosted in, agree to the hosting terms, and I can also sign up for the product and service updates by email. I'll go ahead and say start 14 day trial, and then I'll receive an email from Discourse asking me to confirm my email. Roughly 10 minutes later, you'll get another email from Discourse prompting you to set up your site. This is what the setup wizard looks like. You'll be asked to confirm the community name, as well as a descriptive sentence about the community and choose the language. On the next screen, you can choose whether you want that to be a public or private community. Public meaning that anonymous users can view the topics. Uh, a private community meaning that only logged in users can see the content that you have. You can also choose whether or not this is invite only. So should users have the ability to register themselves or do they need to be invited by staff users or users with the appropriate trust level privileges? Right over here for an added layer of security, let's say you have invite only or open registrations, you may want to have your staff users confirm that people can be registered users in your community. In Discourse 3, uh, we also have sidebar and chat. Chat gives your users that real-time one-on-one communication with each other. They can see instant feedback of who they're chatting with. This could be one-on-one -on -one group chats, public or private chats as well. With our sidebar, uh, you'll notice that a lot of the settings that were once in a hamburger menu can now be on the left-hand side of the screen. You could go ahead and jump in from here, or you can add in a few more details if you'd like, such as your site logo, the look and feel, so you can choose the theme that you wanna use and the color palette, and you can also choose the uh, styling of the homepage, whether it shows the, the topics at the top, or you wanna focus on categories, or maybe a mixture of both. On the next screen, if you're a organization or a company and you want to add in some terms of service, feel free to do that here. Once you're all set up, uh, you'll be brought over to your community. Today, I'm using try.discourse.org, and we're going to go ahead and point out a few of the different things here. So let's talk about sidebar. So sidebar is right over here. We can see everything, so all of the topics coming through. We can also focus on my own posts or my admin settings. If I expand this, then I can dive into groups and users and so on. Over here, I can see categories, but maybe I wanna change this up and I don't wanna see these particular categories. As an admin, I can change the default for other users, but users also have the ability to customize this themselves, so they don't have to be limited to, to what an admin has set for them. But for now, I'll go ahead and make some changes by clicking on this pencil here, and then I'll go ahead and remove one of them. So let's say let's remove videos, and then we'll go ahead and say save changes. I could also add in different tags that users can search for. So for example, we've got over here art and code, but it could be maybe we want to expand this to focus on all the tags that we have. Some other things as well is you'll notice that your messages are no longer tucked away in your user uh, settings over here. You can They can be found in the sidebar. So you can compose a new message right from here by clicking on that plus button, start a uh, personal message with a group of users or an individual user, and you can also focus on your inboxes from here. Right down here, you have channels. So these could be public or private chat channels that have been set up. Let's say we wanna create a new channel here. We'll click on that pencil. We can see the open ones here, and then we could create a new channel. Give it a name, a description. If you want to tie it to a category, go ahead and do that. And you could also automatically add in users who have recently participated in a category as well. 
So if I click on the tech chat here, you'll notice it says channel history is retained for 90 days. Now that is just a default. You can customize this so that way maybe it's a shorter duration of time or a longer duration of time. But we'll go ahead and say, uh, I'm really excited about the latest uh, computer and just post that in there. We can look at this in a full screen mode or we can minimize this into like a windowed view. You'll notice here we have a plus symbol that gives us the ability to attach files, images, videos. We can insert dates and times. We can insert emojis. You're also not limited to the standard emojis. Your community can custom create their own emojis and that can be done in the admin settings. You can also add in GIFs as well. If I hover over the post that I've made here in the tech channel, you'll notice that I can add in reactions. So I'm going to give myself a thumbs up. I can also bookmark chats. So maybe I want to come back this, excuse me, come back to this at a later date. So I'll be reminded this weekend at 8 a.m. I can respond directly to this one here. So this is really nice when there is a lot of activity in a channel or in a personal chat. Maybe you want to respond to one particular thing that someone said. It'll show kind of in line what you're responding to. And then right over here on the three dots, you can copy the link to that specific chat message. You can edit it. Um, you can also select it, delete it, and rebuild it. Now, if it is another user's message, uh, you may have the ability to flag that. So let's say if you, your user has the, the privileges or trust level privileges to flag content, they could flag that one as potentially being spam, and then that goes into a moderator queue for review. Now, you can also have personal chats one-on-one -on -one with users here. Um, so I can go ahead and start one with a user or click on the plus symbol here to pick another user as well. Now let's talk about the user menu settings here. So if I click on my little avatar up here, you'll see I have my notifications. I can also focus on my replies. This is a little bit different than before because now we've gone with tab notifications. I can also see my hearts, which before would have been all under the notification bell. I can also get a preview of my personal messages, my bookmarks, my chat notifications, and so on. So you can see your assignments and you can also see your notifications and badges and so on. Now, one thing that's different with Discourse 3.0 is that you can set a custom status. So let's say we want to give a message to the community. This is what I'm working on today, or this is where I am. I'll go ahead and pick out something. So we'll go and click on this. And then I'll say, feeling great, running a marathon. And we'll say that's going to be going for two hours. Save that, and then there is my custom status. You can also set this on a timer so that way it uh, discontinues after two hours or it could run on indefinitely. We've also expanded our search functionality here. So if we click on the magnifying glass, you'll notice that we can search for particular things. So let's say, for example, I want to look for in the movies category, I want to look for a particular one. And then right over here, it brings up enjoyable children's shows for adults, and then I can follow that through here. So you're not limited to just searching for keywords now. Now you can look in specific categories as well. You can also look for users. So let's say, for example, I want to look up Taylor, or I can look up groups of users, and so on. You also have advanced search functionality here. So if there's something in particular you want to look for, so maybe it was a post that's appeared after a specific date, maybe you already read it, maybe you liked it as well, so you want to look for something that you saw you know, way back when, but you haven't found it yet, you can be really specific here to dig into that. Some other new Discourse 3.0 features can be found in your admin settings. So let's say, for example, we wanted to enable a new uh, Discourse 3.0 feature. We'll go into admin here, settings, and then we'll just search for one of them. So for example, if I search for user tips, it'll show me that here. I can enable that or disable that. So for now, we'll go ahead and disable it and then refresh this. And then we'll re-enable it as well. Other things that we've made changes to besides user tips, which will give kind of users um, uh, natural notifications 
uh, in the discourse community as they progress. But you can also make some changes to whispering. So this is something that we've had for a while, but uh, instead of being limited to just staff users, you can open this up to other groups of users. So maybe that's going to be uh, the support group and the moderators group as well. Or maybe you wanted to um, add in some hashtagging. You can also add in the hashtag autocomplete as well. So that way users can hashtag a category, a tag, and so on. Let's go ahead and jump into a topic and see how that looks. So I'm going to go back to our home page here and we'll go ahead and pick up one of these topics here. What you'll notice here is that we can see our title, we can see our category. This one doesn't have a tag, so let's add a tag here. And let's say that uh, we're going to give it a new one and we'll say this is called videos. And save that. So now that becomes another thing that users can search. This one was started back in December 2021. It's had a few posts. I can, I can slide through uh, the different posts in time and go to the latest one here. And then I can go ahead and say reply using that reply error or this button down here. We'll just go ahead and say reply here. If I wanted to reply to someone in particular, I could just click reply under their post. So for example, they all right here. I'll just go ahead and say reply. And then that would trigger a notification to that user provided that they haven't disabled notifications. Then I could say, uh, I'm a big fan of youtube.com, something like that. You'll notice on the right hand side, there is a just in time preview, just kind of giving you a notification that, like, hey, maybe this looks like something that's already been posted by someone else, or maybe you should give it a descriptive title or write a few more things, things like that. So discourse will try to steer users in the right direction. In a Q&A community, it's especially helpful when users are uh, posting questions and then you don't want to have a lot of redundant questions getting answered over and over. So that will give users suggestions to check out things that have already been answered. So we'll go ahead and post the reply here. And then we'll go ahead and say, we want to make a whisper. So we'll go ahead and say, click on the settings cog here, go to whisper. So now only the support users, the staff and the moderator will see this. And we'll go ahead and say, hashtag movies. And then we'll say, hashtag movies for the chat channel, as well as hashtag tech for the category and then hashtag art. So you can see that we've got tags, we've got channels, we've got categories. So it's a nice way to, to see that preview right there. And this one actually gives you a kind of a nice label on each of those. So it's easy to see where you're being directed. So categories, chat, as well as a tag. We'll go ahead and post that. And that's now whispered and you can confirm that that is a whisper post and not a public post because it does have a slash for the visibility there, meaning that not all users can see that. Now, let's say, for example, you want to uh, bolster the community, add more people. You can definitely do that. What I'll do is I'll jump over into my user settings here and I'll go over to send invites. And then I'll go ahead and say create an invite. If you've got a spreadsheet of users which have signed up to, let's say, a web form and they want to be notified or invited to your new launching community, you could do a bulk invite and it'll give you descriptions of how that CSV should be laid out. But I'll go ahead and say invite and then add in the user's email address. So for now, we'll say that that one's going to be Jane Doe at example.com. And then we can add in a personal message. We can even help them to arrive at a specific topic. So maybe that's something that would be of interest to them, add them to a group. So that way they automatically are assigned certain privileges. In this case, that would be whispering, maybe even heightened trust level privileges, meaning they can do a little bit more moderation or higher level privileges than some other users. And then we could save that invite as a link, drop that into an email, or we could just email them directly from here. So what I'll go ahead and do is say save invite. And now we've got a link. We can copy that and share that out with the user. And that right there should give you a good feel for some of the Discourse 3.0 features. There are a whole host of them. Feel free to check out our blog post as well as the full official features list on meta.discourse.org. Uh, now I'm going to hand it over to Jono and we will have a Q&A panel. So if you have any questions or there's something else you'd like to know more about, feel free to drop us a question. Thank you.